Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to jump a mountain bike. This is very simple if you know how to ride a bike, but if you're a beginner and you have no idea, then it's very scary unless you know these few steps. <laughs> So this is what a jump looks like. An essential part of mountain biking. They might need to watch this video. Jumping is an essential part of mountain biking because along the tracks that you'll find yourself visiting, there will be jumps. And if you can't jump them, then it's gonna be not as fun and you won't be able to keep the flow going. So for the first tip, it is really all about the speed. Of course, at first jumps are gonna be scary, but if you don't approach them at enough speed, you're not gonna clear the size of the gap that it's meant to clear. And then it's gonna suck, especially if there's a gap in the middle because then you'll land in it. So this is me going too slow. See, my head almost fell off, purely because it's not meant to be ridden that slowly. A lot of people have asked me how you get more air time, how you do jumps better, and it really is down to the speed. That is the most important thing ever. Generally on a bike track, the jumps will be made at the correct size for the speed that you're going. So you can just hit stuff as fast as you're going, you'll usually be okay. Uh, always ride down a track first, go slowly to check everything out because obviously some jumps might land into a corner or something and then you just die because you'll go tumbling down the hill. The next thing we need to look at for jumping is how you get up the takeoff. So I'm going to jump it again, we're going to slow it down and I'm going to talk you through it. As you can see there, I'm approaching the jump, looking forward in the attack position, arms bent, knees bent slightly. As I'm getting onto the takeoff now, the suspension is compressing um, and I'm not gonna do anything else apart from a slight movement, which would be to sort of unweight the bike, as it were. You're, you're not bunny hopping, you're not pulling or anything, you're just doing a almost a tiny little hop as you can see there and then the bike is like coming away from the takeoff in an equal way. The speed really is the most important thing for jumping. Um, a lot of the pages have said that you have to pull up really hard, you have to do these strange bunny hops on the takeoff. Uh, for beginners I would suggest that just being unweighted as you leave the very top is going to be the safest option. Uh, and make sure your speed is right. Now we're gonna look at the second way, which is how they usually teach you uh, to do jumps. So I'm approaching, once again, in the attack position, exactly the same as the last time, my speed is the same. Now I'm on the takeoff, I'm looking ahead, I'm looking ahead and as you can see now, I'm pulling up on the handlebars, it's raising the front wheel, and just as my back wheel leaves, I'm pulling up with my legs as well. So this is giving me a lot more height and this is the, the, the way you would jump if you're you know, in more knowledge of how to ride the bike. Um, for beginners, I'd 100% just go with the first option which is without any sort of extra additives as it were and you're gonna safely cross the gap if you have the right speed. People think that going off the takeoff and hopping at the same time and pulling the bike up like that is going to help them clear the gap and is the correct way. That is very wrong. As you saw on the first version that I did, I didn't do anything on the takeoff. I let the bike do the work for me. And on the second version, I let the front wheel come up first and then the back. If you do it both at the same time, the back wheel leaves. Um, at the same time as the front and you just look ridiculous in the air and as you saw my front wheel landed first a bit heavy and it just isn't the right way to do it uh, it's like one of those things it's hard to explain why you shouldn't but it just sucks so don't do it right so as you can see not enough speed and pulling up like i said 
nose wheel. Yeah, see, all about lack of speed there with those four guys. Thank you very much for helping this how-to. Now I'm gonna show you correct speed and no hop, how you should be doing it. So then I literally did nothing on the takeoff. All I had was the correct speed, the good attack position. I didn't lean back or forward. My weight was centralized. I cleared the gap perfectly, landed like a dream and rode away very excited and still with flow for the rest of the trail, unlike the guys before me. So now I'm gonna show you uh, how you can race. Oh, wait, wait, stop, stop. Oh, it's Tom, Tom Cardi's here. Go on cards, drop in. You can show him as well. Right, he's coming in with speed. Whoa, clearing the jump easily. So I think that learning to jump is done in three basic steps. The first one is your speed. You can't even go up the ramp if you're going too slow. So make sure you're going at a decent speed or fast enough to clear the jump you're actually gonna try and clear. Secondly, I'd say not being too stiff. A lot of people will come out the ramp and they really tense up. When you're tense, you just have no control over the bike. So speed and stay loose. And then thirdly, I'd say not to try too hard. Like Sam said in the previous, in the previous step, to just stay loose, let the bike be natural at the lip, and then you'll be a boss. And you can jump massive jumps like Rampage Canyon Gap. So you wanna roll in, like I say, get up to speed, fast enough to clear the jump, see the ramp, relax, land two wheels together and roll away, having done a massive, massive jump. So far we've seen the electric bike being jumped, a non-electric bike being jumped, and now we're on a hardtail jump specific bike without the added suspension at the rear and the shorter suspension at the front the bike actually travels faster um, on jumps because the bike doesn't lose its speed in the takeoff because there's no suspension to take away that momentum. I'm gonna hit the jump now on the hardtail and you'll see that it's exactly the same as what I've taught you on the other bikes. I'm gonna jump it again now on the hardtail with the added pop on the takeoff and you'll see that I go much higher, but this is something not to play with unless you've got full control of your bike because it can dip the front end, you might land on the back wheel. Anyway, as a beginner, the non-popping option is what I'd suggest. <laughs> With that added pop, tucking up of the legs, getting into a ball, you can see how much height you can gain from the same amount of speed. With these tips so far, speed, the, the way you take off and how to act in the air, you'll get yourself to the sky, link in the description, get your stickers now. And now we need to get on to the landing, which is very crucial. Um, if you land wrong, your hands could come off. If you land wrong, your feet could come off. If you land wrong, you could land on your back. Not after you've seen this video. Let's pay attention to the most important part, the landing. So we've got Tom Cardi dropping in now. Got his speed up, hitting the takeoff, nice and level in the air. And as you saw there on the landing, he landed with both wheels at exactly the same time. This is perfect, this is the most perfect way to land. As you move on through your career and time riding a bike, you might find that you need to land more on the back wheel on certain jumps, but on the jumps that you will be hitting as a first time jumper, you would like and especially try to aim to land with two wheels at the same time. Another note to add to the um, landing is to, of course, be prepared. You wanna be in the attack position, keep your body a bit bent. If you're gonna be dead straight like this, your arms could fold the opposite way that they're supposed to work, which would suck. You wanna take the impact, use your body as an added suspension. It's not a stressful day in the office. It's supposed to be fun, be relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the better you're gonna look, the higher you're gonna go, the faster you'll continue down the trail, and the more excitement you're gonna have when your friends are looking back like this when you're clearing that jump like a bouse. Me and Tom are gonna to do a little train now as he's here with us and we can both get to the sky at the same time. 
This is the uh, new mic loadout, the uh, hair attachment, it's really cool. Those are my tips on how to jump a mountain bike. There's a lot more videos out there on YouTube teaching you the same stuff. Um, so you could watch my video and then maybe watch some other ones just to get an all round idea of how to do it. Then go and get your bike, get on the trails and get some airtime because it is the best part about mountain biking, that is for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That'd be awesome if you'd leave some comments and let me know if this helped you. And it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you guys in the next one. To the sky! Yeah!